Well, as we go to air tonight, crucial all-night meetings between White House staffers and congressional aides have been attempting to avoid a U.S. government shutdown. In meetings held yesterday, Democrats and Republicans were seemingly further apart than ever, with President Barack Obama unable to broker a compromise and both sides blaming each other. In a moment, we'll cross to North America correspondent Craig McMurtry in Washington, but first, his report. The hours are ticking by. Democrat and Republican leaders are still coming and going from the White House. Earlier officials said they were hopeful of avoiding a shutdown. But now Democrats and Republicans can't even agree on what they disagree about. Uh, there are a number of issues that are on the table. And any attempt to try to narrow this down to one or two just would not be accurate. John Boehner insists there's no daylight between him and his conservative Tea Party-backed members, who are also demanding a say on where money is spent. The shutdown fight is also now about abortion. Liberals in the Senate are threatening to shut down the government because they want to continue to borrow money from China to underwrite the largest abortion provider in America. Conservatives are demanding restrictions on abortion funding and greenhouse gas regulations. Furious Democrats are accusing the Tea Party of cheering for a shutdown. This is an extreme agenda that has nothing to do with a funding bill. Every woman and every man in this country ought to be saying, what are you doing? House Republicans tried to push through a stopgap funding bill to ensure U.S. troops are still paid. But after months of similar band-aids, Barack Obama has vowed to veto it. We've been working very hard over the last two years to get this economy back on its feet. For us to go backwards because Washington couldn't get its act together uh, is unacceptable. More than budget cuts, this political fight's become an arm wrestle for the balance of power in Washington, involving not just the Democrat-led Senate and the Republican-led House, but also the Tea Party within the GOP and over the President's ability to control the outcome. Craig McMurtry, Late Life.